Safeguarding the nation. My ass. <sighs> Close call, Matt. <sighs> Good teamwork. Have luck. A pile of luck, me. Grab what you can, and let's head out. There has to be an exit this? here, somewhere. Good stuff. I just hope this won't be a dead end. Songbird said to keep to the tunnels all the way to Elizabeth Crest Street. Any chatter, Connor? Zero. Dead quiet. Got a hatch here. Could we jump, maybe? <sighs> Hold up, V. Let's pause. Think for a sec. What's eating you? I don't like this. Can you try calling so me again? Okay, gonna give it a shot. I need a songbird. Starting to worry us, girl. Song, are you there? No answer, huh? Guess you got me and only me. Great to see you again, Johnny. Curb the enthusiasm, kid. Never know. Could need me. So? Did you reach her? Nothing. No response. Shit. What happened back there? With So May? Something was off for sure. Could say she got hit with a demon, maybe tripped a defense protocol on the Chimera's ice. Could say? Mm hmm. If Songbird was a cookie cutter runner. Both know she's not, though. Damn fucking straight. But who knows? Meh. Whole thing was a clusterfuck. You know, knowing that run comes without a burn risk. No. Impossible. Somi's had occasional off moments lately. Temporary slumps. But I'm sure she's headed where we're headed. Same destination she gave us. It's the reasonable thing to do. Right. Reasonable. Girl's gonna have a hell of a hangover. If she wakes up. How you figure that? Because I wound up at the same rave she went to. Felt like I was underwater. Leagues down. Tried to surface, but this suffocating, sucking sound pulled me back in. Then when she lost control of the Chimera, the water turned into fucking boiling tar. At least you're out. It's over. For me, yeah. But for her? Though actually, could have been a straight overload. Seen runners caught in those. Shit's ugly. So, can we move on? Mentioned an abandoned building, place to lie low. No heat sick, so should be relatively safe. I pray you're right, so me.
Pushable, you think? Could use a little help. Of course. Oh. A damn fork? Well, we didn't account for this. Which way now? Thoughts? Hmm. Let's try this way. Looks promising. Huh, our stop. On the right, see it? Here's where we surface. Christ, finally. Mm, I'm gonna smell musty for a week. No way through there. Far so good. welded to that seat. Funny how she has her own street in Night City of all places. That jealousy I'm detecting? Please. Jealous of what? Ugh! Not now! V, are you? One sec! It'll pass. <clears throat> <clears throat> See? Better already. What's the matter? Are you hurt? Nothing. Really. V, please. I have a highly honed nose for bullshit. Got an... experimental Arasaka biochip in my brain. It's killing me. Literally. Sumi says she might have a solution. Wait. You're talking about the relic. That'd be the one. The secretive tech someone stole from Arasaka. On the day Saburo lost his battle with mortality, no less. Bingo. So that's how she could reach you. It also goes a long way toward explaining the nature of your deal. I appreciate the candor. It seems it's all for one and one for all, if we're to survive.
expect any more trouble? Tonight? I expect nothing but. It's best to be prepared for any contingency. Okay, this is us. Eight. Great place for an ambush. Hopefully no one else thinks so. We got here first. Same stuff. We'll have to sit tight. Though I assume we'd rather not sit in the dark. Power would be useful. We'd also get the radio up and running. What? Can't miss our daily dose of fear mongering? Check this, V. Attempted postmodern art. More like a home-cooked generator. Maybe we kickstart it, literally? Uh-huh. Oh, shit. Thing needs a little go-go juice to wake up. Sure, but seeing as we got a lull in the lead pouring down on us... Listen, got a bad vibe about this. You? You? Bad vibes? Whew, big surprise. Songbird, S-tier netrunner, promises a panaceum, a cure-all, then gets wiped off the map. Myers. Shady Politico. Got a dagger thrown at her back all the way from Washington. Who by and why? Fuck if we know. Oh. Plus Kurt Hansen and this fucking Sam launcher. Just preem. Got this hot itchy feeling in my groin. Like someone's not fessed up to something. Huh. Saying Songbird didn't give us the full picture. Our mystery girl. Usually love a bit of hard to get, but trust me. Rarely ends well. Well, not like we had time to really chat. Spent most of it running. SF1, run. Chimera, run again. It's just... Nah. Got some questions for the chick. Hope we get a chance to ask him. Anyway, let's get this power sitch sorted.
Should I do the trick by my eye? Fire it up. Fingers crossed. Here it goes. And maze balls. Look what I found. What do you say? There's more in the fridge. Feel free. You earned it. Booze? This a good time? Let's see. Today I survived a Delta crash, a district-wide manhunt, and a prototype killer robot. Yes. It's a great fucking time. New look? Great. Right? Should draw less attention, too. Grab a gulp. Just earned yourself a vote, Madam President. Are you even registered? Housewarming gift from Songbird, maybe? Wouldn't it be wonderful? And circling back to Night City, speculative chatter continues tonight around the downed passenger craft. And U.S. representatives claim President Rosalind Myers was aboard when catastrophe struck. City officials have yet to release any statement. However, one all-too-familiar figure did decide to speak out. Kurt Hansen, the self-proclaimed leader of Dogtown, called a press conference earlier today to offer his take on the situation. I'm being framed. Isn't it obvious? The NUSA's been out for my blood for years. Now I'm not without flaws. But another thing I'm not is suicidal. An attempt on the life of the head of the NUSA? What transpired in Dogtown is no trivial matter. I urge you all to consider the true motives behind this... spectacle. The NUSA will take any excuse it can get to send forces into Dogtown. And will they stop there? <laughs> no. You, good people of Ninth City, are next in the fucking line. Shit. Mark my Fuck words. This. Troglodyte's clever. Maybe too clever for his own good. Man, eh, not half dumb. Jumping on the media train, hollering war's coming, and it's all the NUSA's fault. Well, you sure know how to cheer people up. Some mysterious party's out to trigger war. An attempt on my life's a damn good case of spell eye. Washington know you're alive ASAP. Ah, call Washington without knowing who'll answer, friend or foe. Or should I go outside, give Hanson snipers a big thumbs up? No, V. Neither's an option. Hear that? Footsteps. Songbird. Maybe. Can't be sure, though. our lucky day, Chumba. A penthouse with a view of the city. Hey. And lights that work. Yeah. This doesn't feel right. None never does with you, does it? Fucking killjoy. You want an angle on Hanson's airdrops? You got it. V, we need to eliminate them. Come on, man. Let's have a look around. Wait. I'll be dead. Wanna try talking first? I hope you know what you're doing. Weapons! Now! What the fuck? I won't say it again. Yo, 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 chill. Just looking for a place to hold up for the night. Make it clearly. So I see. This, the uh, presidential suite. Shit. Word is, they have bounty on the head of Rosalind Myers. What are we gonna do about that? Come on, guys. Let's figure something out. You don't want I'll any problems. I hear you in my face say otherwise. 
This iron will stay silent, so long as you do. Now that's an idea. But our silence ain't come cheap, yeah? Whoa. Pump the brakes, man. Not now, Tay. I was negotiating. Do you remember negotiating with Hanson? What happened? Not now. You negotiated with Hanson? What was that about? Not... Small misunderstanding. Name Machete, this leg off. You motherfucker. Was a conflict of interest. Colonel Dipshit don't appreciate motivated entrepreneurs like myself. Now my question is, what can you offer us that's better? Jones, for fuck's sake. We're all just trying to survive here. So cool it. Stop talking scop and state your price. One million. Fine. On one condition. You'll help. Lend us miscellaneous support. Mm -hmm. And what's that supposed to look like exactly? There's enough space for four. Should be easy to stay out of each other's way. But if any uninvited guests arrive, we'll be counting on you to stand with us. Seriously? What's there to consider, Chooms? Chill. You know, just weighing the potential pros and cons. Can you weigh them any fucking slower? You got a deal, Madam Prez. And... Want me a race seat? Jesus Christ. Uh-huh. Any model in particular? Shit, my ass will fit them all the same. Tell me where you want it parked. Will do. So long as your bodyguard don't slit our throats come nighttime. Well, V, do you plan to slit these two gentlemen's throats? All depends on you, Chooms. Gonna have my eye on you. Likewise, Choom. Well, all fucking right. We got us a deal. I like to celebrate new Chooms by tossing back a few, but T and I gots to be sharp. Airdrops come morning. Gotta get up early. Same here. Come on, B. It's been a hell of a long day. Watch the master and learn, T. Watch and learn. Looking for someone, Asian American woman, about 30. Seen anyone like that? Well, it doesn't ring a bell. But shit, <laughs> you can't ask her to meet at a bar like a normal chew. You pull the night shift? Well, we could call it my part of the deal. And an old habit from the Badlands. So, you a nomad? I was, once upon a time. Abandon your family? I betrayed them. I'd rather not get into it. Sup, V? Shoot some shit with me? Then spill it, girl. Working for the Prez. What's, What's it like? Feds probably pay stacks, yeah? <laughs> I look like I'm from DC to you. Fuck if I know. Never been. No, I'm Haywood, born and bred. Dogtown native. No plan to leave, neither. Don't intend to take your shiny new Rayfield on a cross-country road trip. Chum, the day I believe a word out of anyone's mouth will be my last. Then why agree to her deal? Cause I's an honorable motherfucker, maybe? Shit, folks gotta live by some kind of code. Anyway, you made a wise choice for an overnight. Safe, out of the way. It's even got work and power. Finally. My legs are killing me. Come on. Take a breather. Still nothing from so me. Radio silence. She's never gone dark this long. Troubling, to say the least. 
How you feel about our roommates? None too bright. But not entirely useless. And two extra guns could always prove handy. I'm gonna give him that payday, really? Why wouldn't I? They're taking a sizable risk. So... What if Songbird don't show? We need to wait. It's all we can do for now. If she doesn't show, well... Then... I'll have one other option to consider. But let's table it till morning. We should get some rest. <laughs> Surreal. All of it. What's that? I'd have been home by now. Reading the evening brief, glass of water and two sleeping pills waiting on the night table. Doesn't sound like you miss it much. Hmm. See you in the morning, V. on the balcony. Sleep okay? Night all right? Like any with a roof overhead. Claustrophobic. As for Jacob? He thrives in dreamland. Come on, baby. Ever ridden in a rayfield? My villa with VIP friends? High society? On and on till the crack of dawn. Not a man with ambitions, clearly. Those are the deviated septum. She's not here. Means she's not coming. It's been, what, 12 hours since the crash? Enough time to flee Dogtown, that's sure. She'd never leave me behind. Protocol? Friendship. I need to find her. You don't leave your people behind enemy lines. Could I still buy that fairy tale bullshit? Whatever happened, we have to help her. Listen, no, we had a calm night, but you gotta leave Dogtown. How? In a car trunk? Fingers crossed? Hanson's waiting for that sort of desperate attempt. Okay, gotta be away. Let me think. Uh, know my share of fixers. Bet we could get one though. Out of the question. They'll hand me over to the highest bidder. Got a talk back up plan. Not a plan, a man. The kind we need. Solomon Reed's the name. Seven years ago, he headed up our intelligence efforts in Night City. He and so me were a team. With the conflict over, he went into hibernation. So he's out there somewhere. Reed's a man of principle. He can't be swayed, can't be bribed. If there's anyone we can trust now, it's him. Sleeper agent. No shit. Tell me more. Unless it's like a state secret or whatever. It is. Of the false bottom drawer variety. Let's say you want to secure your interests on another country's soil. If diplomacy fails, you resort to other means. Like a military coup? That's one option. Solomon Reed is another sure one. Reed guy sounds like an ace up your sleeve. Could have played him already. Activating a sleeper agent is no simple matter. You'll need a dog whistle. A what now? Don't tell him I called it that. It's a signal only Reed will hear. It'll be tricky. Huh. There was a secret comms channel accessed only from a Capitan Caliente nearby. The FIA used it before the war. The access code was 0931. 
Got a bad feeling, V. Mean an, an analog landline? That crashed here open a hole in space-time? When sending sensitive information, you use the technology least vulnerable to interception, old or not. That Caliente should still be wired for it. Owner have a thing for antiques? He had a thing for federal money. And he might still be alive. Remember, 0931. Okay, seems doable. And I prefer discretion to destruction. I trust that's clear. Mm hmm So what'll happen next? Reed will need to screen you. You'll show him this. It means you work for us. What the? The file will be created for you in the FIA database. Wait, back up. Telling me I'm a special agent now? That's right. But taking the oath make it feel more real. Secret comms line, presidential token, what's next? A coded message in today's scream sheet? That token is for your safety. If Reed isn't 100% certain I sent you, he won't hesitate to kill you. Seeing as we're on the same side, can't hurt. Oh, V. Repeat after me. I, V, do hereby solemnly swear. IV do hereby solemnly swear to faithfully serve the new United States of America. Fucking pathetic. To faithfully serve the new United States of America. I vow to uphold the values set forth in the nation's constitution and represent its government with dignity and due diligence. I vow to uphold the values set forth in the nation's constitution and represent its government with dignity and due diligence. I pledge to defend my country against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Should this cause claim my life, so be it. I pledge to defend my country against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Should this cause claim my life, so be it. On behalf of all NUS citizens, I thank you. Good luck out there, V. And don't let the bastards nab you. You know, taking that oath, bad idea. Oh yeah? Some causes are worth pledging your life to, V. This ain't one of them. How'd you come to that? Cause with the biz done, their arm will still be far up your ass and you'll be a meat puppet. No, I was once at Corpo Jarhead, right? Practically dove into uniform head first. They had a real hard on for the oath. Repeat after me, bloody fucking blah. But can't remember what I solemnly pledged to do. Sure you want to talk about this? Forget it. You were just do a chewing out. See that crazy color smoke? Yep, wham bam. One of Hanson's car. V, in Dogtown, are you? Well, I've but one word of advice caution. Hands? Sheesh. 
What's your link to this area? This is Pacifica's bumping, thumping business heart, where the real deals are done. So, we finally gonna meet in person? I can say neither yes nor no. In lieu of an answer, I've knew... ...work for you. I hope you'll accept. One last thing. How you breached Dogtown's border, I'm not certain. Though, I suspect not via the main gate. Irrelevant in any case. I've secured clearance for your future convenience. Your name and likeness now registered in the system, granting unfettered passage over the district threshold. Talk again soon. Capitan Caliente. Post? Shut him boarded. I wanna talk shit about Kurt. Mad disrespect. Had no choice. Hang yourself out back. Hey, you a fresh face, so listen up. Here in D-Town, you watch what you say. Talk shit to the wrong cue. Blam! You're dead. Man of biz you are, so let's cut a deal. I slip you a few reds, you tell me how to slip inside. You paying for trouble, but okay. Don't ever bail on Eddie's, huh? <laughs> the new <clears throat> owners? They're draining power from down the road. Check the cables on the wall. Sure to connect somewhere. Tinker around, reset the power. Bet your security trinkets just might go dark. Sounds promising. Stash house, by the looks of it. Right. Let's see what's here.
What's this? Antique. Junky variety. Wonder if it even works. I'll have a double cheeseburg while you're at it. Uh, anyone there? Hello? Fossil's probably busted. Or you flubbed the number. What the fuck do we do now? Who is this? A friend? Andrew Jackson, basketball court. Daytime. Noted. Not exactly loquacious, our man of mystery. Could just prefer text. I'm sure I do. Man, fuck the cool. Shop local. Shop with Ronald, Ronnie the Rust. His elbow has a hitch. Dude needs an upgrade. Think it'll hitch today? Oh, not a doubt in my mind it'll hitch. Huh. Mm, not today, Chum. Dogtown's locked down tight. First time in the area. It always so calm around here. Calm? <laughs> yeah, no. I ain't dying today. Huh. Guess you chose the right day, Holmes. Beeps are usually packing iron and ready to jump. Watch yourself after dark, yeah? Your faces attract attention. The bad kind. Feel me? A piece of the plane smashed into our kitchen. You believe that? What? Everybody okay? Uh, seats in the house. Gonna be a game to remember. Johnny Silverhand, basketball fan. That's new. You know what I mean. Another game starting. One where your head's the fucking ball. <clears throat> Thought the same thing. Something nasty's brewing. Fucking storms, what's brewing? Don't let the sunshine fool you. You're up against seasoned players, whereas you just stumbled onto the court. These are trained sociopaths. Pretend to be your friends while they fucking ain't. So go out and play. Just don't get played. Just come out and say it. You don't trust Myers. 
No, her type is all. Politicians. Worse, armed forces. Saying no to high-ranking cunts like putting your mouth over the barrel of their gun. Get shitty facts if you try to run. Take it from a deserter. Trust in a deserter? Kinda contradictory, don't you think? If you're gonna book out of the army, you gotta be honest. Admit you made a mistake. And that, dare I say it, takes fucking guts. Desertion is bravery. Now that's Johnny speak if I ever heard it. Maybe a little. Sue me. <laughs> One thing I did learn, caked in blood and mud. Now, Johnny, really feel a need to get this off your chest? Get comfy. Gonna twist your ears, lay some wisdom on you. After every carrot comes the stick. Allow me to illustrate. Every grunt gets a rifle, flak jacket, and a bunch of promises. Comes a time you're out of ammo, Kevlar's tattered cardboard. And what's left of the promises? Fuck all, I'm guessing. Exactly. And that's when they reach for the stick they call values. Getting shelled in your dugout, tombs are taking refreshing phosphorus showers, and some officers ranting about loyalty and duty. The moment you stop shitting carrots and they wave the value stick, fucking run, rabbit. Run. Sounds like you got some shit to work through. Gotta face your demons sometime, Johnny. Didn't actually have a problem with them. Till now. Politicians, military runners, intelligence operatives, <gasps> Colonel Hansen for dessert. All the rotten fish in one fucking barrel in this dog town. Don't turn around. Eyes on the corner. <laughs> Hans, what you holding? Johnny, who the hell's breathing down my neck? Nope, nah. -uh. Don't do that. Just don't. So then. Got this token? Mean anything to you? But I need to make sure. Keeps his cards close, this one. Who sent you? A mutual friend. We don't have mutual friends. Friend survived an accident. You might have heard. I might have. Zone defense, that. Keep pushing. Is she safe? <sighs> I act. Hard to say. No longer we sit here. That's it. Dribble around him. Were you followed? Did you even bother to check? Take me for a fucking gonk? An amateur? You sure fool me. But fine. That I have to do. Black door in Merriman, in the street. Three minutes, front seat. We better leave separately. Don't want anyone to get suspicious. You first. Don't want to be caught holding hands? Reed? Slippery motherfucker. I think we really hit it off. Sure. Bet he's got candy in that van. Ready to find out? Hey, you see that guy I was talking to a millisec ago? Big guy? Yeah. Coat looking like he's planning on flashing some kids, huh? Hey, shut it or get lost. Thornton.
before we go, apologies for the precautions. I only ever rest so much. Sometimes it's just safer to shove the barrel of a Malorian between a Chung's ribs, even if he is on your side. It's nothing personal. No hard feelings, I hope. Odd introduction, but nice meeting you too, Reed. Not a phrase I often hear in this trade. You're not in the biz, V. Our biz. Oh, what gave me away? You got into a stranger's car. You're lucky I am who I claim to be. I combed FIA data for info about you. Interesting profile. Freelance Merc. You were born in NC. Haywood. To make things more interesting, FIA agent. You received your commission last night. One thing eludes me. What drove you to get entangled in this mess? Honestly, it's just another gig. Not on the strange side? You'd be surprised. Not unusual in my line of biz. Right. It's time we paid our friend in distress a visit. Address, please. Just FYI, not so sure you're gonna like it. Try me. Abandoned building on Crest Street, 8th floor. Damn straight, I don't like it. You left her alone? In Dogtown? Was I supposed to drag her along while cruising around? Mm. Actually... Look, place seemed plenty safe to me. Safe? A derelict building in Dogtown. Just listen to how that sounds. Hold up. I need to take this. Why are you calling me on my day off? Last I heard, you're the manager. Ask Bob, he owes me a favor anyway. Yeah, well, tough nuts. You'd have to manage without me. Boss, man. I work the door at a club. Selection, you know, bouncing. FIA special agent. Bouncing away time at a club. The job attracts ex-cops and commandos, too. I know a few. They're a tough bunch. Trouble. Easy to blend in with over beers. Huh? This is not how I imagine spending my day off. Saving the president? Great action BD shit right there, am I right? Yeah, sure, I guess so. Does my eyes still smoke? Had a ciggy on the balcony this morning. Why you ask? When things start to spiral out of control, she's likely to light up. It's high time we help her out. Honestly, this is not inspiring confidence. Relax, she ain't alone. Made some new chooms. Locals. Introductions were a little dicey, but she turned on the charm. Probably has her Dogtown campaign staff by now. 
This keeps getting worse and worse. If anyone had tried to extract her forcibly, this whole level would be in shambles. No way she would have gone Open up. It's me. Yeah, yeah, coming. Don't move. For fuck's sake. Again? Where is she? That's enough, gentlemen. Put your tools away, gents. Compare length and girth when I'm not around. You the boss. Are you sure? Look around. Positive. Hmm. You remembered my number. Some numbers you never forget. Never with me, Roslyn. You never intended to call that line. Well, I found myself in Night City with a bounty on my head. So it seemed the right moment to reach out, have a tete-a-tete, -tete, reset an old friendship. I'd offer to sit down and chat over coffee, but the clock's ticking. I need to arrange a passage for you to Washington. No, Reed. We need to talk first, all three of us. Come on, we should talk in private. The President, a merc, and a special agent walk into the Oval Office. Question is, where do I fit into this joke? You've seen the news. Uh-huh. Hansen's spin work never fails to amuse. He's not acting purely on his own initiative. Someone from our camp's propping him up. Hansen. Any idea who he's in bed with? Rosalind has more enemies than you can count. This shit runs deeper, Reed. I wasn't alone on that flight. Why? Where is she now? V was the last person to talk to her. Most likely scenario? Got caught in some ice on the combat bot when she hacked it. One little mishack. Happens even to the best. But no way to know for sure. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, we need hard evidence, not speculation. Reed, I needn't remind you what this means for the NUS's national security. Besides, she's your prodigy, Saul. You taught her all your tricks. Hell, even recruited her. She and V have a unique... Uh, bond. It's a lead. Our only one for now. You two have to find her. Together. I already died for the cause once. Not enough? What do you mean you died already? What has Myers told you about me? Said you'd let an intelligence cell here. Went into hibernation at war's end. So she omitted the fact that Arasaka tried to smoke me. <clears throat> and that I ended up in intensive care with three bullet holes. That six months had passed before I could take a shit on my own. Might have... slipped her mind. Convenient. Well, now you know. Every moment we spend pouting here, our chances of finding Somi alive drop. Hard. Barely know you, but you don't seem like a Chum who would leave their agent out to dry. She won't survive without backup. Don't know me well, but well enough, I guess. I wouldn't. I'm here, our help. But I'm doing it for Somi. And my country. Call me naive if you like. And you, V? Whatever bond you two have fails to explain why you're here in the first place. I don't know how much they're paying, but you better ask yourself, is it worth it? Hello? Something's Earth more TV? important than Eddie's, Reed. That, we agree on. We all got our reasons. Mine's even got a name. The Relic. If I don't find so me, I'm literally a dead woman. 
Seems we're all on the same page now, V. Which means we can help each other, too. Agreed. Think so, too, Reed. If we want to find Somi, we gotta dig deep. I mean, actual reconnaissance. No stone unturned. We need contacts, informers not afraid to sing, who might see something in it for themselves. You'll need to earn their trust. That big ask in Dogtown. Won't be easy. I need to arrange a safe passage to Washington for Myers. Expect my call soon, V. Thanks. For everything. Stay safe. And don't let the bastards get you. Same to you, V. May we meet again in more favorable circumstances. Alright, I need to make some calls. Status? No real changes, I suppose. Then it's time we got down to work. Gotta find our missing friend. Had another pair of eyes. Alex, former team member. She's in Dogtown, under deep cover. She'll help out. That means NUSA 5 and agitators Roger that. Got an address? Longshore Stacks, a dive bar called the Moth. After sundown, yeah? Got it. And sense his trade on any potential shadows. 